Hey YouTube, so Cole here at Kitschy Flower, back again with another video. A little bit of a different location if you hear birds in the background. I'm currently in the sunroom. So, just a little bit easier. I don't have to set up a bunch of lightings. Anyways, so yesterday I went to an estate sale, kind of spur of the whim. I uh, wasn't originally planning on going to it. Luckily, I was with my mom and she kind of was like, well, let's go to it. And I'm very, very happy we did. Uh, I think it originally started at like nine in the morning and we got there around 12. So I'm very pleasantly surprised at everything we were able to find. So I'll kind of give you the rundown of like what's going to like my eBay shop, what's going to whatnot or Etsy, what have you. But I just thought I would kind of do a little bit of a haul. This one is definitely a mega haul um, as a vintage Barbie fan. So without further ado, I'll stop my rambling. I'm gonna start with some of the smaller pieces and then do the grand finale of the Barbies. First thing, which <laughs> I'm keeping, <laughs> sorry. Uh, is actually going to be this Too Faced doll. I hope the lighting's somewhat decent. But yeah, she's pretty wacky. I've actually picked a very similar one up before, but the whole thing is like you spin her head around and she has different emotions. Uh, but yeah, I've actually, I've had this one or a very similar one before, but ended up giving it to a friend um, just because they collected like dolls with, um, like swiveling mood faces, if that makes sense. Which also here's another example, which is this cute little moody baby, which if you swirl his head, he has different emotions. Okay, I hope the lighting's a little bit better. I just brought in one of my soft boxes, but yes, cute little moody dolls. Um, I, I'm very excited about these. I've been on a hunt for another one of these. So those were really fun, got the Moody dolls. Evidently she was a doll collector because she did have hordes of dolls. Um, we have a cute little made in Japan pose doll in a kimono, absolutely love these. Then we have another cute little just Hong Kong doll. Not really worth much. I don't even see a brand. I think this is literally just made in Japan. Um, but cute nonetheless. I like little things like this for whatnot sales. And then I bought a whole big box of vintage children's books, uh, which I have a few here. These two are just really cute. I think I'll probably be bringing these this Sunday, but these are just cute little flocked, fuzzy children's books from the 1940s. I think this one, yeah, 1947. So these are just really fun. Absolutely love the graphics. They have a little drawing in them, but you know, I think these would be just phenomenal if you decided to take some of the pictures out, go ahead, frame them, or just keep it as it is. Pretty spectacular nonetheless, and absolutely love the little ducks. So, got a big box of children's books, all of those, plus what was in it were a bunch of awesome Mayor Cord decals. So we got some mushrooms, we got a little Oriental girl, more. Yeah, there were quite a few decals, and then a bunch of these little cherub ones. And then, okay, I will note, I'm also keeping these, but I'm keeping these little flower face girls. Absolutely adore them, but the rest of them will be up for grabs for sure. Probably bringing those to whatnot too. Again, little smaller ticketed items like such do pretty well over on whatnot. So those will be over there for sure. Then like picked up I am such a sucker for old packaging, so picked up a whole bag of like vintage candle holders, but some of them still have their original packaging, which I am, like I said, a sucker for. So I thought these would probably be really fun in the booth um, here in Georgia. And then the next thing I got, probably another, <laughs> another whatnot, 
uh, are actually these made in Japan wooden staplers. So this one I think is a either a mouse or a cat, can't really tell. Again, mark Japan on the bottom. And then this one's a cute little leaf with a ladybug. And I love how it still has the little antennae on it. And again, marked Japan. Saved like a dollar or two for each of those. So pretty fun. Uh, the lady who we went to the estate sale, uh, she evidently had a fondness for cats. So that was pretty cool. And so then for our main finale, granted there's some more stuff I'm really not just showing. Um, it's more of like vintage kitchen. We got some juice glasses. We got a, a fairy light, fairy lamp, whatever the little glass things are. I think that one's made by Indiana Glass. Uh, you guys know me, I'm not super into glass or like, I don't know, talking about it. I'll pick it up obviously for the booth and that's pretty much about it because a lot of glass, I don't like shipping. Granted, if it's cute kitsch ceramics, that's a whole different thing. But like, like I've said this a million times before, I'm not shipping a swung vase. Maybe for the right price, but it's not what I'm gravitating towards. Those kind of terrify me the idea of shipping. I've seen people do it. Like I think Misty did a really great video of teaching you how to actually like, uh, like wrap and ship a swung vase. But I just, I don't know. Some things I'm, are for other people and like vintage fashion dolls, that's my thing. So I'll pick up glass stuff for the booth here in Georgia, but I just don't like shipping it. For the grand finale, drum rolls, please. Uh, like I said, granted, few other stuff, and we got some like vintage Christmas and stuff like that, but kind of want to focus on what I'm about to show now, which just so happens to be vintage Barbies. So these were literally the first thing, um, as soon as we walked into the door, that I saw. I pretty much just like fell to my knees and started grabbing, which no comment there. <laughs> um, but yeah, ended up picking up nine Barbie and Kins. So I thought I would just kind of show you them. So these, I do believe are a little bit more special, which I didn't realize picking up. I mean, granted, I got a really good price for them, but these, I have never seen before. So I guess we should start off with Vintage Kin. So so I actually think these possibly might have been a vintage store display or part of a store display because like what I'm showing you is all of these dolls are in, you know, outfits from around the world, which granted in 2023, a eh, little problematic, <laughs> but you know, these are pretty spectacular. Um, even still with the original wrist tags, but basically like this one, this kin, and I have a matching Barbie, which are both in the Arabian Nights. That's kind of wacky, I just picked her up. Um, which actually were, they actually did come like this and they were originally sold in a display. I think it was called Little Theater. Uh, so back in the day, Barbie, insert picture here, uh, sold a little theater set, which would come with Ken, Barbie in the Arabian Nights, plus a bunch of other costumes. But yeah, they still even have the little tags, but yeah, these are pretty, pretty fun. So yeah, then we got Miss Barbie, and again, still with the booklet stand. Uh, most of the Barbies, I will say, do have green ears due to being like stored and never really taken out of the boxes, which is pretty common, but I'm, I'm excited nonetheless. So here's little Arabian Nights Barbie. Again, still with that booklet, the shoes, the stand and everything. Um, yeah, I'm just like, honestly taken aback. So these two were actually kind of like sold in a set you could do, but the rest of them really did not come dressed in kind of the outfits from across the world. So that's what is kind of giving the store display possibility. Where did I put so that's Arabian Nights. And then we'll just go over all the Kims, I think. So pretty much 
for each kin, there's a matching Barbie. This one is Kin Holland. Uh, so this one has never been taken out of the box. Still has that little uh, string that he's sewn into. So he is completely mint. Still with the wrist tag, the booklet, the flowers, and all. So pretty fantastic. We got... We actually have two of these. So we have two Kin and Holland. This one is the mint. And then we have another one which has been removed. So again, I just have never seen these before. And I tried and tried to look. And the only one I could find that was sold was I think Kin in a, um, in a, I think it was Kin in Mexico. Um, but yeah, really fun. The little beer stein, the hat, the everything, the little pipe. This one is, um, Kin in Switzerland. So that's little Kin. Comes with everything. So that's him. So we got four Kins and five Barbies. So we already showed Arabian Night. Next one, again, just the boxes alone. I mean, the graphics, they do have a little bit of wear and tear on them, but anytime you can find Barbie boxed dolls from the 60s, it's kind of a miracle. I will say I haven't ever picked any up for resale. I haven't ever been able to um, boxed early 60s Barbies. So this was really, truly, a special thing for me. From going to never finding one for resale to finding nine Barbie and Kens, it was, yeah, it was, I still am kind of on cloud nine and that was yesterday. Okay, so this one is Barbie Goes to Japan. Again, full outfit. I think the issue with hers, her shoes have kind of like come apart. Granted, all of the pieces are still there, but whoever grabs her will have to put them together. But again, she's gorgeous. She's the only one without green ears. So um, really cool. Uh, still with her hair pieces and all. This one I think is the only one that didn't have like the plastic um, piece holding them. But that's Barbie in Japan. Um, all right, so this is Barbie in Mexico. Actually came with an extra outfit, which I'll be selling, but here she is. Again, behind that plastic wrap. She does have green ear, which as we can see, a little bit of green ear, but again, I've never seen these boxed dolls before, so I'm not complaining. Um, but yeah, it, I just, you never see the accessories still just never been opened. You got the necklace, you got the shoes, and of course you got the dress, the skirt, and then the shawl. So really fun on Miss Barbie Goes to Mexico. Who do we have next? Then we have Miss Barbie in Holland. Again, green ear, plastic wrap, and we can kind of just carefully take it off. But yeah, these are all just like, gorgeous. She does have pretty gnarly green ear though. So here she is, stand and all. So I think this is the other one that will be up for grabs. I think all of those are currently up on my eBay. Um, I'll try to post this before the eBay listings end. So if anyone is interested in them, uh, they can have a chance. So I'm not just showing you this like three weeks afterwards. <laughs> um, but then we have one more, which as a Barbie collector, I kind of had to keep one in my personal opinion. So this is the one I will be keeping. And then this one is Barbie in Switzerland. And of course I had to keep the bleach blonde. Um, I got these at a really, really good price. So it's kind of hard not to keep one. I sell things on the internet full time. So it's like, as a collector, I have to be like, okay, when you find huge bundles and lots like this, you get to keep one. Um, and granted, if these were all like mod, um, mod Barbies, forget about it. These probably would all be in my collection. But the fact that they are some of the earlier Barbies, which I don't heavily collect, granted, 
got some ponytails, bubble cuts and stuff in my collection, but I go really ham with the mod. But I just thought she was too gorgeous not to keep. Now, I will probably be doing a restoration video on her with the greening on her ears, because I definitely don't want to keep her that way. Um, and I'll probably use a little bit of OxyClean on her hat just to brighten it up a little bit. But here she is. She's pretty fantastic. The fact that like her ponytail is literally still intact. I mean, she has just never been played with. And it really shows them having like the green ears um, and the earrings still in. So really fantastic. I am very, very excited to own one of these gals. And of course I had to kind of keep the bleach blonde, which her hair hasn't oxidized. A lot of times these like kind of platinum ones do. So I am very excited. I get to keep, keep one. When I first saw her, I kind of knew she was going to be the one I kept. But anyways, that has been the haul of the vintage Barbies, you guys. Um, Again, this is almost kind of like a one in a lifetime kind of opportunity to grab all of these, especially them being so unique. Cause like I said, I have never seen these in like listed before. Like when I went to search, I found, like I said, one kin, but I could not find any of these Barbies. The closest lead I got to them was the Arabian Nights box set which again, really fantastic. Um, like I'll show you her real quick. Again, green ear, but look, her like hairdo is just spot on, still with that original little ribbon. So all of these are currently up on my vintage toy eBay. Granted, I have like two Ebays. I have a vintage eBay and then I have a kind of if I find cute things out and about and I know I can flip them and they're not old, I have another eBay for that. But I am so excited, truly a haul to remember. Um, I will note that I think all of these except two have bids already on them. So definitely got some interest in them. I will leave the link and everything in the bio. So if you are interested in any of them and you are a Barbie fan or a Ken fan, you can go check them out before uh, the auction ends, which it's running for a week. I just started them yesterday. There's some time. I think that's been about it today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, I'm Cole at Kitschy Flower. Hope the change of scenery was all right, but it was just kind of convenient because everything is up here in the sunroom. And yeah, but all right, until the next one, have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you then. Bye. Thank you.